Welcome back guys to another PvP build for New World. I'm on my Heavy Armor Great X Warhammer build. I completed finally my full legendary Void Band Heavy Armor. As stats, full constitution and as perks, resilient, invigorated and luck. Luck is kinda useless for PvP I know, but the other two perks are pretty nice. Since we have a lot of elemental resistance with this armor, I'm on full onyx for physical absorption. As weapons, just a random great axe with strength and two garbage perks, but I didn't found a better one yet. As hammer, the quest item lifebreaker with the perk Sundering Shockwave. When you use Shockwave, apply Swent which reduces target's damage absorption by 18%. Pretty nice perk. Dexterity is garbage, but uh, still decent. A great X with wishes and keen with crit damage and crit rate would be better. Also on the Warhammer, but like I said, I don't have it yet. As gems, I use the Malachi gems on both weapons for 12% more damage. If we stun, slow or root the enemy, which is pretty easy with the Warhammer, with Shockwave, with Path of Destiny and clear out. On the jewelry, the quest item, Infinity Crystal, which gives strength, divine, fortified and health. Pretty damn strong necklace here. A ring, just a dungeon ring called Beginning with strength, hearty and keen. I have to change the gem here. I normally use diamond or onyx. On the earrings, just a self-crafted one with the most important perk for me, healthy toast. When you drink a mana potion, gain 8.7% of your max health. Since I have over 11k health, this juicy mana potion here heals like 1.2-1.3k HP. So we have three health potions in total with this juicy perk. As traits, full strength of course, and gems, onyx or diamonds. The best buff food would be carrot cake. It gives 24 strength and 16 constitution. With this buff food we gain 324 strength and 150 points in constitution which uh, activates the third passive of constitution, which decreases our crit damage for another 10%. As potions, the infuse health potion, the infuse regeneration potion, and just a random mana potion. It doesn't matter, just to proc the perk healthy toast. Let's check the great axe and the warhammer skills. As active skills, I have four active skills. Most of the time, I use Reap, a chain, and thanks to this passive here, another AoE damage. Then Malstrom, one of my favorite skills. It's a strong AoE, which also chains the enemies in and eats a ton of AoE damage. Gravity Well, another AoE damage burst skill. It also increases our damage per target, so if we have 6 or 7 targets in it, we will deal 60-70% more damage and your allies gain 10% fortify while standing in there. Passives, all my passive points on the left side for Bloodlust, which gives 30% more movement speed and 15% more damage while we're looking at a target. So you have to stand close to target to gain this juicy passive. I also have charge as skill, depends on the situation. For open world or for outposts or if I play solo, I put charge for reap, just for the mobility. Otherwise, we would be stuck everywhere. But for war fights or for small scale, I prefer reap for more damage. Warhammer skills, I use three active skills, shockwave and AoE stun which also applies Weaken, which decreases the target's damage by 10%, then clear out a front AoE stun or more a knockback, 
and Path of Destiny, one of my favorite skills, a strong front AoE stagger and it also deals a good amount of damage too. Most of my passive points are on the right side for Shockwave, which gives 20% more slow uh, against targets if they get stunned or I think even staggered and 6 points on the left side just for more damage, more penetration, that kind of stuff. That's it with the PvP build showcase. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Ciao!